like we have been saying in the past, that we were not wrong at all to withdraw our case from the Supreme Court and take it back to the Court of the People. We know many people criticized us, politicians, leaders, religious leaders, and uh, we were even shocked to uh, be criticized by the Uganda Law Society. But now it is clear to all of them that indeed the Supreme Court has lost its uh, credibility. The Chief Justice um, stripped the uh, judiciary of the mask that it had been wearing. Uh, General Museveni, using the Chief Justice, has uh, continued to expose uh, the Supreme Court how unfair, how biased it is. We inform the nation that it's because of the conduct and the comments of the Chief Justice that we were forced to withdraw uh, the petition from the Supreme Court. But we are very glad that even uh, Justice Chisache went further to show the world the truth. Now um, we all know the truth. We saw the impunity that was uh, uh, shown in the Supreme Court where the Chief Justice went as far as confiscating a file of another Justice of the Supreme Court. They were trying so much to hide the truth from the people. Like we've been saying that uh, not all is lost in our judicial system, that uh, much as we have uh, a judiciary that is headed by a compromised character, the Chief Justice of Winyidoro, at least we still have some noble uh, judicial officers that are willing to stand by the law to defend the Constitution and to defend their judicial oath. So we want to salute uh, Justice Chisache and all the judicial officers that still are worth their honor. Uh, we want them to know that the world will remember them as officers that stood by the law, that stood by their morality. But again, it should communicate to us further that we have a rotten judicial system. We actually intend as a national unity platform to write to the judicial service uh, uh, to the Judicial Service Commission to investigate the character and conduct of the Chief Justice uh, Owinyi Doro because he ashamed the judicial system and such character should be investigated. The most honorable thing that I would expect Chief Justice Owinyi Doro to do is to resign. If he still takes his honor seriously, if he still takes morality seriously, if he still respects the law, the most honorable thing he can do and should do is to resign. Um, yeah, maybe on this same note, I want to join the world to uh, send heartfelt condolences to the people of Tanzania and the people of the East African community and Africans at large for having lost uh, President John Pombe Magufuli of Tanzania. And also to use this opportunity to request all of us leaders and citizens of this world and, uh, and, and human beings to, 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 you know, to take into consideration the kind of legacy that we live, well knowing that we're all mortal, we will live someday, but it's, it's important what they remember us as, what they remember of us, what we do and make our fellow human beings uh, go through while we still live, knowing that we shall not live forever. I knew you. Um, okay. Um, Ngabe tu haba tegeza banafi, bana Uganda banafi mwena jemuli, nti Omusango gotwa litwa waba ogoku bobururu no kuli nyiri dobo ziaba na Uganda Muskoti and Sukuru Mutwa Gujayo Urene Isa Nevi Gambo Biasava la Muzi Wekoti and Kuru Eya Uganda Chief Justice of Winy Doro. Ea Ragidao nta inache kubira ea ragidao ndieta gobiri la mateka wabula gobiri la bira giro biama museven biaba muade. Banji batu vumiranga kota deva nabi abufuzi ne Uganda lo society nyini. Na ye, uh, cha mkisa murunji niti ya mazima, gibafu bie nyo kula 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 nyo
na atuka no kuamba fairu yo mulamuzi omulamu kote nsukurumu kubanga tayagala mazima gogerebwe kirunji nyo nti omulamuzi kisache yavude na yogera mazima na vayo na yogera nti chali chichamu kote nsukurumu gano bujulizibu wafe ngato bujulizibu wabalababu kiliza na vayo na kakasa nensi timbutufo kulondo ku kwa ni mbuchamu elama emu seveni siya ino kubira president wa Uganda omutufu so Ngabe tuwadenga tuwagama nti wade ichitongo lechiramuzi chombu tufu chavu nda iranga na chikule mbira enjini saba na muzo winyi dolo tago, tago veri na mateka. Na ichi zamwe subi okulaba tisaba abana muzibo na uh, na mjinga teyabali ya. Ti ichitongo lechiramuzi chicha alimu ku wachari uyo esubi eri abo abago veri na mateka. Na abo abase chitibu wa mchira iroche wako wa ngaba igata kubala muzi abekote nsukurumu. Era tu tuba yoza yoza tube bazolo kuimira ku mateka yensonga la chitu chagena mu koti kubanga tuine subi nti ekoti ekitibwa chayo no kusala mazima tusobolo kubiko myao wano mu Uganda so chirunji nti bana Uganda mwera bideko chirunji nti mwala bye nti saba la muzi abadde akolera mu ame 7 okutulira mazima chirunji nti mwamola bye ko yayonge dokwera bisa nga awamba no kuamba fairo ya mu lamuzi munne okulaba nga tulira mazima no lwe nsonge eyo tetwali bachamu twali batufu okujjo musango mu koti ya mwami winyi dolo kubanga bana Uganda bali tebasobola kufuna yo bwenkanya pozi mbera yemu njagala no kubagiza abaganda bafe abatanzania ba East African community members banafe na ba Filipe Kabona okweto la semazinga Africa olokufibwa ko uh, president John Pombe Magufuli wa Tanzania era okukoyiso mukisa gono kubajukiza bo na bakulembeze ti byonabi okola engeri jo bera mu bulambo ngo chali konsi kuno osano jukire ti unakuruja kucha ngato chali mulamu toli wanja uno nawo muli muntu nga balala so fuba nyo okusa omoyo okungeri jo no jukirwa mu Engeri je waisamu bantu bano, engeri je wako zisobu inza, na linyachi diyo gendo kuleka ngomazi okufa konseno. Uh, President Mugufuli, au uh, mule mirembe. Ya, yeah, nga NUP tuteka teka okuwandi kila echitongole, echa Judicial Service Commission, nga tuba saba oku no nyeleza. No kuba tochi muneisa ya saba la muzi owe nyidolo kubafe tulo oza nti yali nyiride echira irochi ya kuba ngo nga saba la muzi yali demu orukwe ama teka iranga tasanyi kubera saba la muzi echi, echi kola echi chitibwa cha inzo kola kwe kule kulira mchitibwa kubanga ya vumiride era yali nyiride owe sige ne chitibwa echa saba la muzi wa Uganda tasana kuba saba la muzi era Chandi bade chiru unji na ale kulira. Tugenda kuandikira Judicial Service, Judicial Service Commission. Uh, tupasabe batunule muneisa ne nkola ya owinyi dolo. Elabo chiba chisoboka ba musindi kilize ale kulire. Farmed. Mr. Museven. We say owinyi dolo. And a few obviously biased justices of the Supreme Court confirmed. Genom 7. But uh, going by the ruling of uh, Justice uh, Chisache, it is clear that this election was null and void. It is clear that the court, the Supreme Court, was abused. It is clear that Mr. Museveni, using uh, the Chief Justice Owinidoru, used illegality to arm twist the Supreme Court of Uganda. And therefore, we still do not recognize Genom 7 because the court did not go through the due process because it was clearly acting on biased grounds. Um, we have painted a way forward already for our people. We took that matter from the Supreme Court, which is provided or presided over by Owinyi Dolo, and took the case back to the court of the people. That means that the people are called upon to evoke Article 3 and Article 29 of the Constitution to make sure that they restore constitutionalism in Uganda, which is clearly overthrown by General Museveni. Um, Oluva Nyuma, Luwabio Nebi Abadeo, Fete Tuchitua Lanti, Koti, Nkunsu Kurumu, Yaka Kasiza Mwami Museveni. Tuchitua Lanti, Mwami Owinyi Dolo, Naba Lamuzi, Abamo, Abe Koti, Nsu Kurumu. Nsiyo Nabi Iraba, Ntibaba Deneche Kubira, Bibaka Kasiza Mwami Museveni. Necha Mukisa, 
nti mukoti yenyine sukurumu omulamuzi kisache yasazeewo mu bugubi obwe chike cha waguru yasazeewo okuwa insala entufu no kuogera amazima ago gebade bagezako okutulira ne alaga nti okulonda kuno kwali mu buchamu era mu M7 taina kubera president era fitwongera okutegeza bana Uganda nti agono ge mazima getu badenga tubagamba bitwajayo musango guno chali kitegeza nti koti tegenda gusala kuba mu mwe winyi dolo yaita ja kusala mazima musango guno twaguza da mu koti eya abantu era abantu ne tubasaba ba, ba kozese akawairo namba 3 na akawairo namba 2 mwenda obase mateka obuba wa obuyinza na namanyi oku okusala musango mungeri eyabwe ne bawa kanya enfuga etagoberera mateka era echo chechidako the chairman elected, elected the president and is worried what is your word for the, this chairperson the the electoral commission chairperson is right to be worried because he has no factual grounds and we have factual grounds we have said that we won this election the 2021 election by 54.19% and we don't take it back we can back it up with the facts and uh, the fact that uh, our evidence was blocked by the supreme court wrongly and illegally uh, attests to our claim so the electoral commission chairperson has every reason to worry because we have the facts and he does not have the facts he lied to the people of Uganda and to himself that Museveni won and yet I won the election we won the election with 54.19 percent um sentebe wakachiko kebyo kulonda okwera likirira kubanga twagubulire gwanga amazima twaangula kitufu mutufu okwera likirira kubanga bi ayogera tebyesigamye ku mazima nefe bitwategeze gwanga byesigamye ku mazima era twina no bukaka twina ne evidence nti twaangula njidamo kitegeza Uganda ndi museveni twesimbawo na ene muwangula mukuvuganya ko ba president wa Uganda ne bitundu atano mubina no butundu tundu 10 na mwenda ku bulichi 10 kitegeza ndi si president omutufu wa Uganda ne wanko bade mwami byabakama ne amaje bakozesa obumenyi bwa mateka ne balangirira mu 7 echo titukizayo kitwayo gera che kitufu era mu 7 fetitumu recognizing Well, we, our plan is not limited to swearing in. Our plan goes as far as com, uh, complete liberation of the people of Uganda, complete restoration of constitutional rule, complete restoration of the rule of law. We are taking every legal step. All steps that we've been taking and continue to take are legal. Not that we don't know that there are illegal options, but we are people that believe in the rule of law. We are peaceful and non-violent people. And that is why we are pursuing only legal and peaceful means. We have taken various steps from going to court to now calling for peaceful legal protests. And we shall continue to take all legal avenues to ensure that ultimately we secure our liberation as a nation. This was not only about swearing in. It was a complete turn from illegality to legality. Thank you very much. Looking at the drama and uh, overall exposure of the impunity in the Supreme Court, that does not change our course. It does not change our plans. It, it only confirms what we've been saying, that there is no justice in the justice system, especially where Mr. Museveni is concerned. We have been telling people that, yes, we always go to the judiciary because that's the legal avenue. However, the Supreme Court uh, under the Chief Justice, Mr. Winnie is completely under the pocket of General Museveni. So what happened yesterday is a further confirmation, and we thank God for always coming in to cover where we cannot cover. We could not use our own energy or our own influence to show the people the truth. 
what happened there was an act of God to confirm that regardless of what the dictators do using all state machinations, God is always powerful and he has a way of bringing facts to the front. Um, the Chief Justice had been used certainly to legitimize Museveni's uh, um, grip on power, to legitimize the fraudulent election that just took place on the 14th of January, but God used uh, Justice uh, Chisache to speak truth to power. We know that it must have cost her a lot of uh, confidence and bravery, and we salute her. But at least what happened yesterday exposes further and gives people more reason to believe that they are on their own, that they are the last court. Like we've been saying that at the end of the day, after everything is said and done, the people of Uganda will have this, the last say in matters of their destiny. And that time is now, no other time.